It's Z1035, all the hits. I'm Kina, and I am so proud that she is back. It's been a while. Alessia Cara. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Because it was last you. week, right? Yeah, it was like five days ago now, six. So did How did you celebrate? Um, I was working, actually, so I didn't really get to celebrate Aww. fully. Um, but it's okay, because I was with family, so it was good. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if you're catchy. <laughs> I'm um, trying to like talk in between it. But. So where were you? Um, I was in New York. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you were on Colbert. Yeah, I was. Right? I was doing Colbert and then another another show on the same day. So it was like packed all day. Wow. So you have a lot to celebrate. You got the new single "Growing Pains," mm -hmm. which I love. Thank you. And there's just something so honest about that song. So real. Thanks. Um, yeah. So where did that where did that come from? What place were you in that inspired that song? I was in uh, kind of a, a weird, confusing space um, when I wrote that. I, I wrote it like a year and a half ago. I'm in the middle of tour. And um, I think there's something that happens when you're not only growing up as a young woman, period, but then growing up in a lifestyle that's very... Mm -hmm strange to you and very foreign um so i was just kind of going through a lot and a lot of confusion and, and trying to figure out who i am amidst all of this stuff um and it was hard so i i wrote a song about it um in hopes that i could help myself but also help other people that are going through that weird transition in their lives you know and speaking of being helpful that's what i really love about you is that i feel like your music is so relatable Mm -hmm. It's Thanks. so relatable. Thank we you. We have some young girls here in the studio. What would you guys Ooh. agree? Yeah. Absolutely. Imagine they're like, no. Right? <laughs> We're here for someone else. <laughs> but being so honest and genuine, like, I think that makes you really special. Do you find that hard to be in, in the industry that you're in? A lot of the time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I, it's just not very me, like the industry side of it. Like, obviously, music is, but there's a lot more that comes with it that people don't really see. Um, or know about and that stuff for me is very difficult um, because I'm still believe it or not a, a shy person and a very like I don't know I just hold things very close to me and, and sometimes when you're in this like whirlwind you feel like things get away from you um, so that can be difficult but I think thankfully I have good people around me and a great family and yeah. support system so it's it's easier i remember the last time you were here your family was with you and i just yeah. thought that was so sweet yeah yeah my dad couldn't my mom's at work my dad is like sleeping i think yeah. so he's <laughs> in the tent today do they travel with you a lot of the time um, sometimes yeah my dad my dad tries to as much as possible my mom as well but she she's like has work so she it's hard for her to to travel so yeah. much but yeah so let's talk about the new album pains yeah. of growing is mm -hmm. that the title yes, yes. okay and from what I read, you actually wrote this all by yourself, right? Yeah, like, I did. I did. What was that like? That's big. It's huge. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I've always wanted to do that. Um, like, just since I was a kid, I always grew up thinking that everybody wrote their own songs. I just thought that that's how it was. Yeah. So it became a dream of mine to just be a great songwriter. Um, and I get that's not everybody's goal, but it was mine. And so I started off on the first album writing with a writing partner, which was great. Um, but... You know, as I got older and as I started to write more personally, I just thought, like, I just wanted to try everything by myself. First of all, to not have a crutch or not use, like, someone else as a crutch, but also just to be able to be 100% free. Um, and, like, I feel like nobody can tell your story the same way that you can or as good as you can. Mm -hmm. So um, I just thought it, it just made more sense for this particular album to just do it all on my own. Were there any difficulties in that process? Like, just doing it all on your own? Um, well, I think, I mean, I, I had to prove myself a lot. Um, because when you say that to a team of people, like, you know, I, I want to write everything by myself. Like, that, I guess, could be scary to some people. But, um, you know, I, I had a lot of proving myself to do. I think being a young woman, I'm always going to have to prove myself a bit. Um, but in terms of, like, personal difficulty, honestly, not really. I, I was just so in need of, like, venting that I didn't think of it so much as like I'm going to write my album now it was just more so like I need to talk about this stuff and I want to talk mm -hmm. about this stuff and it felt like a natural process yeah was it therapeutic like did it feel yeah. like very therapeutic just getting everything out of course yeah because I don't really get things out um as much as I should like in everyday life to everybody um I tend to like keep things sort of bottled up 
to, for the most part. Um, so it was very therapeutic to be able to not only say what I was feeling, but then in turn understand what I was feeling a little bit better, yeah. you know, when it's on paper. So what else can you tell us about this album? Um, I can tell you that it will hopefully be out in September. Okay. Um, and it is just a lot more insightful. It's a lot more about me. Hopefully not so much so that nobody can relate to it. I think everybody <laughs> still can. I think so. Um, but yeah, I just hope I hope people like it. I'm I'm very proud of it. So any collaborations on this one? No. All Unfortunately, yeah. I know, I know. I feel like people are waiting for like the big collab. But <laughs> I I'm very boring. I just do things. I just did it all ag- myself again. But hopefully, maybe on like a remix one day or it, on further albums. But yeah. again, this felt so personal that I had to just do it on my own makes total sense yeah and you've been on you've been doing a lot of collaborations i mean logic for example zed so uh what makes you say yes to working with someone um well first of all i think if they're good people or like nice people um that's always it always makes me more inclined to want to work with them and also if i'm a fan of their music or if i like the specific song that we made or that i was sent or whatever um i just i like to do things that feel honest and real and if I would have to sit here talking about a song I didn't like that wouldn't make sense so I always just try to make sure it's something I like and would listen to um and just with people that I that I like Mm -hmm. so uh you'll be back in August right for the iHeartRadio MMVAs yeah you're performing this year Mm -hmm, I am uh less pressure because last year weren't you co-hosting I was yeah that was probably the most pressure yeah it's like that's (laughs) totally different ball game it's like way left from like what I usually do but this I mean still it doesn't get any less scary but I think I'm a little bit more used to it now so I'm a little bit calmer to perform this year do you get nervous when you're performing maybe uh, like we mentioned Colbert mentioned the MMBAs do you still get nervous about performing I I do I always do yeah no matter what I'm doing even if it's like a little acoustic thing like I still get nervous I because I don't know. It's just it's a weird thing to like sing about yourself and your life so openly and then like perform it and focus on all the right things like, you know, making sure you're on pitch, of course, and like remembering all your lyrics and just like not looking <laughs> nervous. Please don't screw up. Please don't screw <laughs> yeah, I know. Because every time I'm up there, I forget everything. It's like I wrote this. How did I like how do I for- how do I like how am I blanking? But anyway, yeah. yeah. So you're back home, and you mentioned off the air you're only here for a few more days. Yeah. So when you're back home, is there? And you're from Brampton. Yes. So is there anything you like to do? Do you hang out with people, your friends? Like, what do you do? Um. Yeah, hang out with my friends, family, um, and just. I mean, I do so much on a regular basis that when I'm off, I just like to do the opposite and just do nothing. Yeah. So, um, I mean, go out for lunch and stuff once in a while, but just like chill, lie down, and just in my pajamas and do nothing is really what I do. So when you're going out for lunch, where do you go? <laughs> I'm familiar I mean, with Brampton. So that's uh, yeah, like. I'm, I'm from Brampton. <laughs> but like, where do you really go? Like if it's not Tim Hortons in Brampton? <laughs> I don't know. Like Subway. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> there's really not, there's not many, there aren't many places you can go to. I try to go to the city more yeah. for that kind of stuff. Cause like, where can you go in Brampton? Do you have any good places? That you oh like? wow. There's a lot of fast food restaurants. Yeah. That's, there. that's why. Uh, yeah. I tend to go like you know, Tobacco or Toronto or Same. Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, Vaughn, Woodbridge. But we still love you, Brampton. We lo- no, I love you. I love you, Jess. You got to get your, like, food game up a little bit. BCC is the place to go, okay? True, yeah, the food court at BCC. <laughs> it's not bad. It's yeah. not bad. So uh, you're Italian, right? Yes, I am. And I read recently that your family is from Calabria. Yes. Mine too. Oh, really? From the su- Sweet. Yeah, from oh, the that's sound. awesome. So do you cool. speak Italian? Yeah, I do. Do you? No. Oh. It's so sad. I, I understand it, but I don't speak it but very don't well. Speak. I know more French than Italian. Really? No, I mean, it's sad. kind of, if you know one of those li- like European languages, you usually can gauge yeah. the other ones. Kind so of it's similar. not bad. So have you been to Italy? I have, yeah. I was just there, actually, for, for promo um, mm. in Milan. I was in, the sou- I was in the north, and then I went to the south, to Calabria, to visit my family Aww. for like two seconds. Um, but it was great. It was, yeah. so, it was so nice. Calabria is very nice, yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, the beaches. I love it there. Uh, oh, my God. I know. Everything. I want to go back. Okay, yeah. so the new album drops in September, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yes. The Pains <laughs> of Growing. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that going to be followed up with a tour? Um, Yes, I'm hoping. We're, we're planning that out right now. I'm thinking top of the year because um, I'm doing some, like, stuff in d- November, December. Uh, so hopefully top of the year I'll be able to go out on the road and tour the album, which is really crazy exciting. Yeah. I have only done like 
Well, he I mean, did the last the album tour. So. Last you were on tour before, right? Yeah, I've been on tour before. Yeah. yeah, but this just feels different. It's like it's been so long since I've like performed and like had new music out. So this feels like my first tour in a weird way. How do you all think over again. this tour will differ from your previous? I think I'll be more comfortable, honestly, yeah. on stage, just because I'm more used to it. And I think because the music feels newer, um, I'll be able to just perform it better and feel it a bit more. Because the last two, I was going on like three years that I had these songs already done. So like to me, even if a song was newer to the public, it was like so old to me. Um, I mean, I still love performing them, but you yeah. know, it's it's just nice to have something fresher. And lastly, what's your message to your fans? What do you want to say to them? Oh wow! Um, <laughs> thanks, guys, for um, waiting all this time for new music. I appreciate all of you being there for me on the other side. Um, and thank you for enjoying the music. I'm seeing all of your comments and stuff, and it's really, really amazing and heartwarming to know that you care about me and what I have to say. And yeah, thank you so much. I hope I can meet all of you one day. Oh, so nice. Uh, Alessia, you're awesome. I wish you continued success, and I'm looking forward to the new album in September. Congrats. Thank you. Yay. Yay.